Welcome back to our channel, Hip Hop Hot Rides, where we bring you rappers' hottest rides. Hip Hop icon Jay Z might have 99 problems, but a hot ride isn't one. Born in 1969 as Sean Corey Carter, he grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Do you remember what you wanted to be when you were a kid? A big rapper like Jay Z, maybe? Well, probably not anything like him in his early days. Being the fourth kid in the family, he was raised by his single mom. His dad abandoned them when young Sean was only 12 years old. The same year that Sean shot his older brother in the shoulder for stealing his jewelry. Without a father figure to look up to, Sean resorted to the street. He got into drug dealing and became involved in a variety of illegal activities. He sold crack and cocaine and was shot three times during this period in his life. A decade later, he even got convicted for stabbing record producer Lance Rivera. He quickly profited on his hustling, though, and became renowned in his neighborhood as Jazzy, a street rapper. Later, he changed his name to Jay-Z, and the rest is history. He became a hip-hop legend with an astronomical net worth. Back in the days, Jay-Z used to sell CDs out of his car, but that car surely wasn't anything like the cars he owns at this moment. Prepare to enter the garage of hip-hop's first billionaire as we take a closer look at some of his extraordinary rides. Let's start with the 1957 Corvette C1. The C1 is the first Corvette ever produced in the world. The C1 vet was almost canceled following poor assessments of the early models, but by 1957, Chevy had completed all the required adjustments and added a sportier 4.6-liter V8 to boot. The automobile was sold for as little as $3,000 at the time of its release, but we have a hunch Jay-Z spent a bit more for it. The Jigga Man enjoys spending father-daughter time with Blue Ivy in his small red Corvette, the American gangster's one and only American automobile. Next in line is the Alfa Romero Spider. Jay-Z has a strong passion for vintage autos. According to Car Scoop, his Alfa Romero Spider is a second-generation Series 2 Spider made between 1970 and 1982. He took his wife Beyonce on a trip to Milan in this vintage beauty, and also his close friend Emery Vegas Jones didn't miss out on this car. But there's a Ferrari F430 Spider Top. Jay-Z's love for this Ferrari was so big that he used it in his 2006 video for Show Me What You Got. Jay hired a hand, Dale Earnhardt Jr., to drive the car around the Monaco Grand Prix track. Although Dale's rap credentials are unclear, he has won the Daytona 500 twice. The F430's excellent mid-engine handling and 483 horsepower V8 torque are ideally suited for Monte Carlo's twists and bends. Ferrari has a history of success on the Principality's streets, having won the Monaco Grand Prix 10 times since 1952. One of his first loves is the Lexus GS300. Jay-Z sold his debut album, Reasonable Doubt, out of his car in Brooklyn in 1996, cruising down 8th Street in an off-white Lexus. The GS300 was a symbol of Sean Corey Carter's ambition, despite its humble origins. The drugs the 27-year-old was marketing around the borough were what paid for the ride, not the music. He remarked concerning drug dealing, at some time you have to prepare an exit strategy because your window is quite narrow. You're either going to jail or you're going to die. It was a clever way to get out of the situation. When his rap career took off, he established Rockefeller Records and began investing in legitimate companies, swiftly modernizing the Lex. Still, it was featured in the Dead Presidents video in 1996 and on the 10th anniversary of Reasonable Doubt in 2006. He drove onto the stage at Radio City Music Hall in a GS300. And then there is the exclusive Pangani Zonda F. The Pagani Zonda F surely qualifies as a rare ride, since it is one of just 40 made. 
this 650 horsepower supercar accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 3.5 seconds before reaching a peak speed of 214 miles per hour. When shooting Show Me What You Got, Earnhardt Jr. and Jay-Z weren't the only ones on the F1 circuit. They shared the streets with Danica Patrick, the first woman of IndyCar, who was driving a Pagani Zonda drop-top manual. Miss S. Carter of Tribeca, New York City was once again the owner. Bongio, who won the Monaco Grand Prix twice during his illustrious career, is represented by the F in the Zonda's name. The F was Pangani's most significant modification to the supercar since its inception in 1999, boosting the 7.3-liter AMG V12's output to 641 bhp. Only 25 were made, making it one of Jay-Z's most costly vehicles. But the Pangani isn't the only costly one. How about the Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport 2010? Jay's 1.75 million pound Byron was a gift from his wife for his 40th birthday and is an unusual and rapid ride. The 1,000 horsepower Bugatti is considered one of the world's quickest automobiles. The Bugatti Veyron with a top speed of 253 miles per hour is credited with coining the term hypercar. It's driven by a 1,190 bhp quad turbo 8.0 W16 engine that's been meticulously over-engineered. It's given the rapper plenty of material for his lyrics as seen by lines like on Heaven, he's six foot two, how the blank does he fit in a new Bugatti? Ah, blank it, you got me. Next up, the Maybach Accelero 2004. The billionaire artist has a vast financial portfolio that includes Uber, real estate, fine art, Tidal, and Amand de Briac Champagne, among other things. However, we're not certain that the Maybach Accelero is his best bet. This one-of-a-kind 5.9-meter two-door coupe was built in 2004 as a demonstration car by an Italian business, Stola, in partnership with Daimler. Its twin-turbo B12 produces 690 bhp and has a stated peak speed of 218 miles per hour. It is built with a Maybach 57 chassis. The rapper Birdman, who is a friend of Jay-Z's, is said to have spent $8 million for the automobile, which is insane. He was having trouble making his financing payments, so Jay-Z offered Birdman money to take it off his hands. In Jay's 2006 music video, The Lost One, Accelero plays a key part. The Accelero isn't alone. There's also a Maybach 57S 2006 and a 62S 2007. Maybachs not only have plenty of leg room and smooth V12s, but they also do great in rap lyrics. The vehicle is a common topic in Jay-Z's songs, and on the track Maybach Music, he collaborated with Rick Ross. Real as shit, I even wrote, chillin' in my Maybach. Eight track episodes, been doing this since way back. The hip-hop entrepreneur formerly possessed both the long wheelbase 62S, also Kim Jong-un's favorite mode of transportation, and the shorter wheelbase 57S. For their Grammy-winning music video Otis, he and Kanye West butchered a 2004 Maybach 57 with the doors remounted as wings, the front grille affixed to the back, and a huge fire-spitting exhaust. However, after Jay and Yi were finished with it, the substantially modified automobile only brought $60,000 at auction. But nothing says luxury like a Rolls-Royce Phantom 8 2017. Cruising in the rear of a half-million-dollar white Rolls-Royce Phantom must be one of the best feelings. Following the debut of the eighth iteration in 2017, hip-hop royalty has returned to his exclusive ride. This exquisitely made vehicle has its own art gallery above the glove box and employs a stereo camera to scan the road ahead and electronically adjust the suspension for any irregularities. Like Jay rhymes on no hook, Rolls Royce keeps my movement smooth while maneuvering through all the manure and the sewer that I grew up in. 
Although the Bentley Continental GT 2018 provides some smooth movement too. In hip hop, a Bentley is one of the most frequently mentioned cars. Jay-Z has also rapped about it on several occasions, but it's a lot more impressive when you actually possess one. For the cover of this album, Volume 2, Hard Knock Life, Jay-Z had photographer Jonathan Mannion shoot him posing with a new Bentley Azure convertible in front of Marcy Projects, the place where he grew up in 1998. Bentley's had stayed precious to him since he finally made it. He just purchased the current Continental GT and sang about it on the 4x44 track Smile, saying, Slamming Bentley doors like we invented doors. 20 years ago, we drove Bentley Azures. And last but certainly not least, the Derrett's Prombrum 2012. The Derrett's Prombrum is an armored SUV produced in Latvia that sparked controversy when it was originally offered with whale foreskin upholstery in it. It was priced to set the record for the world's most expensive 4x4 at just under 1 million pounds, thanks to materials such as Mississippi alligator, white gold, diamonds and rubies, as well as bulletproof windows, tungsten exhaust, and Kevlar exterior coating that can withstand AK-47 fire and a rocket attack. Given his money and celebrity, Jay-Z isn't taking any chances with the safety of him and his family. And let's be honest, he shouldn't. It took him years of struggling and hard work to get from a hard knock life to big pimpin'. Let him enjoy and leave us green with envy. That was it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Do you love to have a closer look at more car collections of the world's richest rappers? Then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button. Who do you want to see next? Tell us in the comments section below.